Hello folks, Mark at Launchpad B, coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. Today's video comes in from a viewer who is named It's Bruh Tap. It's Bruh Tap. It's Bruh Tap. Uh, anyways, he says, hey Mark, I need some help how to freeze frame in ClipChamp. Please help me. Uh, okay, so um, to give you the short answer, it does not have the feature, unfortunately. It doesn't have the capability, but there is a workaround that will require you to do a screen capture of the video frame you want to freeze and then import it into ClipChamp. Now I'm gonna use PowerPoint, um, but the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and introduce a clip uh, into ClipChamp that I want to freeze frame. Uh, so what I'm adding right now is a uh, brick hook. I just did a video for an Amazon seller. Uh, these are these hooks that hook onto the brick. And in one of the shots, I had to showcase the size of the hook or the back side of the hook. So I'm going to go here and find this clip here. This is at a 16, let's say 16 seconds. I'm going to find 16 even, 16.01, good enough. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play the video on Media Player. So let's go ahead and pull up my Media Player. Uh, and in order to make this happen, I'm going to make it like this. Let me, let me mute this. Uh, and again, I'm looking to go to 16 seconds right here, okay? So what you can do is uh, do like a screen print, function screen print if you have that kind of keyboard, and you just hit Control V and paste it into like paint, and then you're just gonna crop it. Um, so let me show you how that's gonna look. Let me go ahead and do a freeze frame, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to PowerPoint, to my PowerPoint because that's just what I use, and I'm gonna paste it in. Now, what you, what you do from here is you're just gonna crop it. So I would basically go, use the cropping tool, and basically, I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm just gonna crop into it. You can also use like snag it, and that's typically what I do use, but I figure not everybody out there has that, that tool. Uh, so we're just gonna use a screen print. Okay, so now I've done that, now I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more. I want to crop it to the exact edges of the frame as close as humanly possible. So right about here. Uh, and the reason this is important is because if you don't get the crop correct, when you go to do the freeze frame, it's gonna be off by a fraction, but it's gonna look like the image is not aligned. Uh, there's a way to fix that and I'll show you how to do that as well. But for right now, we are basically creating our freeze frame, okay? So now that we have it cropped, we're gonna go ahead and save this as an image. So I'm gonna right click, save as picture, uh, and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and we're gonna call it freeze frame. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into ClipChamp. So let's go ahead and go back in, here we are. So now we're at 16.01 seconds. I can't get it to 16 for some reason. So we're gonna use the scissors to trim, there we go. Uh, and now I'm gonna go ahead and import my freeze frame. Drop it in here. And now that we have it, I'm gonna split this apart and I'm gonna drop it into here. So here we go. A and you can't even tell. Like we're gonna go move in, move in. Let me, uh, let me mute that. And then freeze frame, okay? So I did a pretty good job about like getting the frames to match up. But what if you like do it and the frames don't match? In other words, like the alignment is off. Uh, and if that's the case, it's gonna jump. And what I mean by that is you'll push play and it'll be like streaming along and all of a sudden it'll freeze frame, but it'll like jar to the left or right or kind of move out of place. And that's what I'm referring to. Like it's here and then you kind of messed up. So it's not transferring properly. It's because your frames aren't lined up. What you can essentially do is just duplicate this, drag it on top of like the very edge right here. Okay, like you want it to just overlap a tiny bit, okay? Uh, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, transform up here and we're gonna make it see-through, okay? Uh, and when you do that, what you can do now is you can click it and you can move it around to try to get it to align. So, so you basically you wanna line it up with the, uh, the, with the one underneath it. Now you're gonna be off by a tiny bit, but it will help you align your image because if you're not aligned, it's gonna look like this. You see how you can kind of see it there? Uh, so again, that's a helpful trick if you are not aligned to go ahead and use the opacity tool um, to get you lined up. Uh, and then once you're lined up, then you, you take this track and you drop it back down in here. You swap it in with the one that's not aligned properly. So anyways, in a nutshell, that's how you would align your images if you needed to. The cool thing about it is, is because we just split it, when you get to the other side of the freeze frame, 
it's gonna resume where it was at, okay? So that is essentially how you're gonna do a freeze frame in ClipChamp. Again, it's not actually happening in ClipChamp, but there is a workaround that you can do to do that. Now, ClipChamp, if you're watching this, if you could add a freeze frame, because I myself use freeze frame very often. As a matter of fact, the video that I did uh, for this Amazon seller required me to do like a dual side-by-side -side screen and freeze framing and motion graphics all at the same time. So uh, there was a lot of layers to build that in. But again, if you could add a, a freeze frame to ClipChamp, I think people would really enjoy that. So in a nutshell, it's bruh, it's, it's bruh tap. If I got that wrong, let me know. Um, that is how you freeze frame. So uh, good luck when you're doing it. And I uh, hope this has been helpful to everybody else out there. If you found the video to be beneficial or if you just enjoyed watching it, make sure that you drop me a like. It really helps me get the algorithm so that I can get uh, more views. My ultimate goal is to hit at least a thousand subscribers so that I can get monetized and then I'll have more incentive to continue making these videos. Also, if you have any questions or comments or if you are not sure how to do something in ClipChamp or maybe it doesn't do it and you wanna see if there's a workaround, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to do something for you. Thanks for watching.